Hey guys, David here again. And in this short video, I'm going to make a little point about the limits of self development. Self development, trying to improve ourselves, trying to change habits, trying to do things that will be making us more productive. And you know, I've emphasized this a lot on my channel about procrastination. Although I've tried to take a, a sort of a deeper look at it, and maybe some of the root causes of it, but the limits to self-development, I kind of see it as a stepping stone. Self-development kind of helps you figure out, okay, why do I do some of the crazy things that I do? And in doing that, in that kind of exploration, and sure, the goal is to improve things, practically speaking, in our lives, but in doing it, you, we figure out kind of how the mind works. How are, what is this thing called my mind? And what is it made of? What is it for? How does it all work? So it's kind of a stepping stone. It's kind of like a university to bring us into the, the real arena of change. But paradoxical change. It's change that comes through acceptance acceptance of ourselves and in that place in that in that arena it's kind of weird because all the self-development stuff we see it as counterproductive unhelpful maybe even you know we're trying to find out who we are at the deepest level but yet we're engaged in trying to change everything about ourselves you know so after self-development, I think comes this the process of learning how to fully understand and accept who we are. And above all, to take things out of the intellectual, out of the logical, out of the story, out of the narrative we have around our feelings, and simply to just delve in and start to feel the feeling. And... I'll try to analyze it and figure out why it's there. It's to figure out, well, what is it? What does it want to say? Maybe it has things to tell me. And to learn to be less judgmental about ourselves because we have these feelings. So that in itself is the ultimate self-development. That is where you know, this paradoxical change happens when we begin to accept ourselves completely and fully there is this change that takes place, a very, very fundamental change in perception. You know, and I'm not, I'm not pretending like, I don't think anyone is really, that they've attained something, but it's, you know, you do get glimpses of it and you do experience that paradoxical change that happens when we stop trying to fix everything. And, uh, just try to understand a little bit more what's going on so you know i'm not telling you to drop self-development i'm not saying that uh, it's a complete waste of time i'm just saying that there is maybe eventually it will bring you to something else and uh, that's something else is not to be afraid of so i guess practically speaking what i'm saying is if you want to try to kind of go to a deeper level with your self-development is to bring it into the non-logical, non-thought-based, emotion-based work. And uh, see if that's what you're looking for. Who knows? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you in the next video. Um, take care of yourself. Bye for now.